until now, this day was mainly marked by official speeches. Now we get a good one. <laughs> and uh, this one will be delivered by Nick Stern, who uh, used to work with the EBRD, as far as I understood, from 1993 to 1999. So um, leaving this institution something like 10 years ago. Before the Russian crisis, after the Russian crisis, after, the middle of the after, Russian crisis. After. After the Russian crisis. Yeah. So now we are in a crisis situation again, but this is probably not what you will focus on. You have um, developed to one of the really listened to voices in the international debate on climate change and how to finance the mitigation of climate change. And I think it is utterly necessary after having focused so much this day for obvious reasons on the financial crisis that we don't lose out of sight that um, there are truly and very important issues to be addressed outside of the financial crisis. And that possibly, to some degree, addressing climate change and getting serious on not longer wasting energy, this might also be a very crucial and key answer to getting out of the economic crisis as the financial crisis is for sure not only a financial crisis anymore, but has got to an economic crisis with probably the necessity not only to look at things like subprime mortgages or CDS or insufficient regulation, but to look deeper into the growth models of our economies and to put the question and find answers to what could be the elements of a more sustained growth than the one we have witnessed until now. So, uh, Nick, we are very, very pleased that you accepted to have the Jacques de la Rosière lecture of this year. If I know it well, this is for you also a personal relationship you have had with my pre predecessor, uh, whom I think we all still admire, not only for what he has done in this institution, but also uh, after having left the BRD and then going to IMF <coughs> and fulfilling other responsibilities. So Nick, we are very, very happy to with, have you with us. Uh, the floor is yours, and afterwards we would have uh, a short amount of time for some further Q&A. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, um, Mr. President. It's a real pleasure to be back. And uh, there's so many things that remind me of so many things here. Um, but your remarks about your predecessor reminded me that Jacques very rarely referred to his predecessor. <laughs> and then never by name. Um, but if you'd forgive me just for spending two or three minutes at the beginning sort of referring back to the period when I was here because it was for me um, six of the happiest and most productive years of, of, of my professional life. It was productive because I was part of an institution which was itself extremely creative and productive and it was also for me a very strong learning period. 
I learnt, I came as an academic, I'd spent a lifetime, well, 25 years as an academic when I came here, and um, I was pitched in to an institution which was in large part investment banking. So I had to learn something of investment banking. I had some very good teachers, um, some of whom are here. Um, Ron Freeman, of course, was a great teacher for so many of us here. And uh, in these last uh, 18 months or so, I've constantly been reminded of some of Ron's aphorisms. And I remember I went to him very early on and I said, Ron, look, you know, I'm an economist, I'm an academic, I'm terribly interested in all this stuff, that's why I'm here, but I've got to learn. Will you help and will you teach me? And I remember very early on he, he said, of course, yes, because that's Ron. And he put his arm around me and he said, one thing you've got to learn, Nick, and I've thought of this many times in the last 18 months, is investment bankers have only two ways of wearing their trousers. He said, sometimes they wear them around their ankles and uh, they spend and, you know, anything goes, and other periods they wear them around their neck. <laughs> this may be one of those periods, but they never wear their trousers like normal people. And, uh, you know, when you think about how sharply attitudes can change, I mean, that's what Ron was, was, was telling me. Um, David Hexter told me that you're never going to be a real banker unless you've been through two recessions. And I look back at all those young people who were operating in the city and they'd never seen those two uh, recessions. Noreen Doyle told me about what due diligence really meant. I'd read about it before, but you know, you've got to see it in action. Uh, um, no, Miklos Nemet told me how to, taught me how to negotiate. I mean, I never really absorbed all these things, but I learned something of them from um, those, uh, those teachers. Um, I work very closely with two people I've talked about, that I've talked to a lot about this lecture, Hans Peter Lankes and Josue Tanaka. I've always thought of them, many of you would have seen Tom Stoppard's jumpers, where he has a, a gymnastic troupe which philosophizes. And it's made up from the um, more athletic of the, philosophy, of the philosophy department in the university, if it takes place in the university. So it's the more athletic of the philosophy department and the more philosophical of the athletic department. And I always thought that Josue and Hans Peter fell nicely into these two categories and you can work out which one is, uh, <laughs> is which. But I should recognize without any blaming um, the discussions we've had around, around this, uh, this topic uh, today. Um, because of Jack himself, um, I think without exaggeration is the finest international civil servant since the Second World War. If you think what he did uh, through his various incarnations all the way from uh, being director of the French Treasury through um, the Central Bank, <coughs> excuse me, the Central Bank and the IMF, and of course I think here was his greatest uh, contribution of all. What little, I, uh, what little I know of vision, leadership, management, delivery, uh, I learned from him. So it's a great pleasure for me to be associated through this lecture uh, with, his, uh, with his name. I've used that experience at the EBRD, not only in my own thinking about things, which profoundly influenced the way I see the world and what can be done, um, and the, particularly the role of private sector, the role of private sector investment, the power of the example. I've used it not only for myself, but I've used it very many times.